शिव समारम हम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुति स्मृति पुराण आलिंग करुणाल नमा भगवत पाद शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुराजमेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहनौन सह वीरकवाहैतेजस्वीतमस्तुमा विदुषा वही ओं शांतशाशाति यो ब्रह्मांडातिगुर वेदाश्च प्रहणोत तस्म तगुम हृदयत्मुद्दीप्रकाश मुक्षुरोय शरणम प्रपद्ये ओं शांतशाशाति आमनयादिक संसिध्यमाध्यांतवर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिपास्मे So, the next sutra by the Siddhanti says, "Kincha introduction is just a continuation, <coughs> and moreover, there is a continuation till the earlier sutra, uh, before that, till the thirteenth sutra in the three dot four pada. Siddhanti refuted the Purva Pakshi's sutras, six sutras which had gone by. Now he is going additionally." Uh, in the next sutra also 14 yadwa he gives an optional interpretation of anumati by kurvanneya karmani the second isha mantra as to astuti of brahma vidya that's also a possibility um, as a secondary option said the siddhanti now further kincha kama karena chaike kama karena chaike सो भगवान सूत्रकार से काम कारण च एके एके हियर एक यूजुअली इज कंसिडर्ड एज वन सो हाउ कैन दिस एके इज प्लूरल इट्स इट्स इन द सेंस ऑफ अन्य 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 इत्यर्थ सो अदर्स से सम अदर्स से एके विद्वां सह इन प्लूरल व्हाट डू दे से दे से दैट काम कारण स्वेच्छया what by one's own ichha they do tyaga so some do tyaga of the entire karma nyasa and that is not by force or anything it is by swa ichha there is no the, the kama is not in kama that's what it really means so kama ichha here in the sense of ichha ichha is the karana for their tyaga इच्छा इन मोक्ष पुरुषार्थ नथिंग एल्स देर फोर दे डोंट डिजायर एनीथिंग अदर देन मोक्ष वन कैन से दैट दे डिजायर फॉर मोक्ष इज ऑल्सो डिजायर बिकॉज देर आर सम ऑब्जेक्शन लाइक दैट डिजायर फॉर मोक्ष इज ऑल्सो डिजायर ऑल राइट बट देन इट इज एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ ऑल अदर डिजायर्स एंड इट इज नॉट बाउंड इन इट इज नॉट रूटेड इन दि वर्ल्डली संसार गति therefore it is not a binding desire initially later if that desire is also blocking a person from staying in uh, brahma tattva in the pursuit then that desire also drops off finally because the desire for moksha cannot be for a mukta one who knows that i am not bound i was not bound earlier also as revealed by the shruti then there is nothing else to desire so moksha desire also drops off but that's an aside since uh, such kind of objections come up every now and then so the um, sampradayavadi say that yes initially you just cannot say that everything that a person wants whether it is dharma adharma or it is for moksha all that is a desire so what is the difference so the difference is that just like um, the three gunas satvika rajasika and tamasika also all these are gunas sattva rajas and tamas are all gunas so just because their gunas does not mean that they are similar or they have that gunatvam which is a flaw because uh, bhagwan krishna tells arjuna all the vedas are what 
Trayguna and Nistrayguna Bhavarvina. You become Nistrayguna meaning you go beyond the three gunas. So there one can uh, taking that as a basis one can make an objection saying that uh, Sattva is also guna. Why have Sattvika guna also? You will be in samsara. True. But then generating Punya also one will be in samsara. But you cannot say that just because Sattva has a Shuddha binding has uh, binds by happiness. Just like uh, elsewhere Bhagavan Krishna says that uh, Jnana also binds. So all the the all sorts of jnanas also bind. Brahma jnana is the only one which is free. Therefore, if sattva is binding in the sense of punya being binding as well, it does not mean that one should do papa or one should have tamas. For one to come out of tamasika vritti, one needs to inculcate, uh, inculcate the rajasika vritti. So from rajas one has to go beyond tamas. Then, not to get stuck in rajas, keep on doing activities, therefore one has to cultivate sattva and come out of rajas. Once one comes out of rajas, then sattvika over a long period of time, having taken the sadhaka to a point where he cannot go back to rajas and tamas, then when that balance is there, then one can drop the Sattva pursuit actively as well. It will be automatic. Similarly here also one has to keep on doing Punya only as long as one gets over all the Papa, Prayaschitta Karma Ityadi, all that is needed. Then one moves to Nitya Naimitya Karma, dropping Kamya also, Nishiddha anyway one has given up. Then once one reaches a point where all Karma is seen as leading to Janma and one is not even wanting this Vishaya Sukha here and hereafter, then one can drop the Punya Karma also, meaning Nitya Naimitya Karma also one can drop and then take to Sanyasa. This is the um, context in which the Kama Shabda has been used here, Kama Karena Cha Eke, so one takes to Moksha and then once one knows that there is nothing to do to get moksha, it is your very swarupa, then one can drop the desire for moksha also because that will also be an obstacle in really remaining with the swarupa. Because one will always think that I have to do something to be free, whether it is shravana manadhyasana at the end, Shravana Manindhyasana has to be continued after giving up Nitya Naimitya Karma. But then that Vidya that I want more and more and more and more Vidya, that will also be binding. Although it is a Sattvika desire, that also has to be dropped. So in thinking, one is already, cognitively one is already free. So once one understands that, then this Kama, as used here, this Kama can be seen in a sense of a desire which is blocking or presenting an obstacle and then that desire also drops off because one is already free. Till then one cannot say that desire for moksha is same as any other desire. It is not. It is definitely not. It is similar to what we had seen in Vichara Sagara. The Samadhi Sukha is Swarupa Sukha. So some people say that in uh, one will get stuck in Samadhi because it is also hankering for happiness. What is the difference? So there uh, Bhagavan Nishchala Das had said that the difference is that in Vishaya Sukha, although it is Swarupa Sukha, one is misconstruing the Sukha and attributing it to the Vishaya. That is binding, that will lead to Punarjanma. However, the Samadhi Sukha is Swarupa Sukha, one knows it is Swarupa Sukha and he is not hankering after anything else. Although it is experiential, still it will not be binding. So there is a huge difference. Not everything that translates as, as uh, you know, uh, similar to uh, wrong values it has the same meaning, it, is, it does not. So anyway, we know all this, uh, just because I brought it up because this uh, Kama Shabda has been used, it is in the meaning of Icha. Kama Karena Che A.K. So A.K. Vidvamsa Pratyakshi Kruta Tattva Jnana Phala. Who are these A.K. meaning Vidvamsa? They are Vidwan, they are Jnanis. And what does that mean? Vidwan means what? Because Vidwan, Vidyana, this Shabda has been used 
by the purva pakshi in the sense of jnana uh, which will go together with karma that is not true or uh, karma related upasana related jnana therefore here the meaning given by bhagwan sadashiva brahma is pratyakshi kruta tattva jnana phala so those who have this pratyakshi kruta who this pratyaksha which wasn't pratyaksha which wasn't aparoksha that has been made aparoksha or that which wasn't pratyaksha has been made pratyaksha atma is always pratyaksha and aparoksha but then due to the other associations or the kosha sambandha with tadatmya sambandha that had as though taken away the person from the from his own swarupa so here pratyaksha is a chuyanta pada so what was not pratyaksha has been made pratyaksha chui pratyaya tadvicha pratyaya is used in sense of abhuta tadbhave so what wasn't there has been made with kru so uh, kru hasti so kru bhu and as these are the three dhatus which are used with the chui pratyaya and it means with bhu it would mean you know manifesting or uh, being becoming something Uh, what wasn't there had has become something there you will use bhu or as here with kru it has been made so pratyakshi kruta means kruta is made what has been made pratyakshi kruta kim pratyakshi krutam taihi so tattva jnanam tattvam eva jnanam or tattvasya jnanam tattva jnanam and pratyakshi krutam tattva jnanasya phalam yaihi bahuri so phala si phalam is napunsa kalinga here it has been used in pullinga with ek and vidvamsa in samana dikaranam therefore it is a bahuri it's a give away so pratyakshi krutam tattva jnanasya phalam yaihi or tattva jnana phalam tattva jnanasya phalam shashti tatpurusha tattva jnana phalam and pratyakshi krutam kim tattva jnana phalam yaihi te विद्वांसः प्रत्यक्षी कृत तत्वज्ञान फलाह इन बहुवचन सो दोस बाय होम दि तत्वज्ञान फला हैज बीन मेड प्रत्यक्ष मीनिंग साक्षात्कार दे हैव गॉट साक्षात्कार दे से परोक्ष फल परोक्ष फलक धर्म साधनम प्रजादिकम काम कारण स्वेच्छया त्यक्तवंत इति श्रूयते इन दि श्रुति इटसेल्फ वी सी प्रमाण फॉर त्याग for vidya or tyaga on vidya both first is the former tyaga for vidya is called as vividisha sandhi sanyasa sananta pada so veditum ichha vividisha those who want to know kim yatum kim veditum swarupam brahmana swarupam atma swarupam veditum ichha is vividisha that sanyasa is to for moksha for jnana and the other sanyasa is also moksha is for moksha but it is for nishtha for one who already have jnana therefore it is called vidvat sanyasa so paroksha phalaka dharma sadhanam what is the dharma sadhana for paroksha phala see those who have already got the sakshatkara aparoksha jnana they say that paroksha phalaka dharma sadhanam prajadikam दी प्रजादी इत्यादि साधा साधना इज व्हाट परोक्ष फल का धर्म साधन दैट विल गिव यू परोक्ष फला नॉट अपरोक्ष फला सो स्वर्गादि इज परोक्ष आत्मा इज दी ओनली थिंग व्हिच इज अपरोक्ष बट सीम्स लाइक परोक्ष सो परोक्ष फल का फल का दिस इज आल्सो बहुरी एंडिंग सो धर्म साधन इज परोक्ष फल का मीनिंग परोक्ष परोक्षम फलम यस्य धर्म साधन से तद्धर्म साधनम परोक्ष फल का धर्म साधन सो दैट धर्म साधन विच इज दैट एवरी थिंक आउट बाय द कर्म कांड ऑल दैट इज व्हाट इट इज धर्म साधन ऑल राइट साधन फॉर धर्म आल्सो एंड व्हाट इज दैट धर्म दैट धर्म विल गिव परोक्ष फल इट विल गिव यू अदृष्ट व्हिच विल लीड टू डिफरेंट गतिस नाना गति सो परोक्ष फल का धर्म साधन वॉट इज दैट फाइनली इट विल गिव प्रजा इत प्रजाधिकम सो धर्म सा प्रजाधिकम 
Supraja meaning becoming an Upakarvada and then getting into Grihastha Ashrama and then having an offspring that will lead to the Pitruna being completed Rishi Runa by Vedas chanting and studying doing karma and so on all the runas can be reduced they cannot be completely gotten over or completely um, you know exhausted so one will keep on continuing doing this that I have this runa, I have pituruna, I have um, rishi runa, I have to do this all that is fine but then it will lead to what why why should you be indebted to them because they have given so much but then they cannot give moksha and if we keep on returning the debt and taking more debt then it is like this credit card, credit card economy of the west you know you there are many who pay the first credit card bill with the second on the due date the second bill whenever it is due they use a third credit card and so on keep on circulating or it is living on debt basically that's the state of all countries now unfortunately all the countries are are having so much debt the question is who is giving because if every country on the planet has uh, multiple times or close to the GDP uh, kind of a debt then who is giving this debt is something which has to be inquired into that's an aside similarly here the debt that we owe even after we pay are we going to be free we are not going to be free because there will be more runa in the next janma there more another in the another janma and we are, will keep on doing this so it's a trap prajadikam is what dharma sadhanam which leads to paroksha phala it does not give you aparoksha atma swarupa jnana therefore prajadikam tyaktavanta that is what the those who have aparoksha phala they say that they those who have had sakshat kara they say that you continue to do this it will just give you paroksha phala and paroksha phala will be later sometime it is in time therefore it is limited so desha kala vastu parichinna phala is all that this prajadikam dharma sadhanam can give and therefore knowing this what parikshalokar ichyadi kama karana ichya swetchya kama karana means kama becomes the karana swetchya of giving up ichya of tyaga cannot be really called as kama but then that is how the word has been used so kama that word has many meanings we have to understand the context that swetchya by one's own ichya not under pressure meaning vivekaya vivekena vivekena viveka janya svechya that's how we have to understand tyaktavantaha kim tyaktavanta prajadikam dharma sadhanam which leads to which leads to paroksha phala therefore paroksha phala ka dharma sadhanam prajadikam tyaktavanta iti shruyate and it is not that they are saying they are quoting shruti itself what is that shruti is a dhasma vai tat purve vidvamsa prajan na kamayante so na kamayante that is the kama <laughs> So, because the desire to not desire is also desire is what someone will say, but these people have not studied Tarka. There is an uh, Anashraya Dosha in that. So, it's an infinite regress. It, it, there's a defect of, fault of infinite regress. If you say that, okay, not desiring is, uh, not having any desire is also a desire, then that desire also you should not have. Then that will also be called as desire because not, not, having the desire to not have desire will also be called as desire then you will have to have another desire therefore it has a anavastha dosha so those people object to such thing we should not mind it's uh, uh, we say yeah okay and move on because they know nothing better it is for the uh, it is the mind which objects so that it can stay in desires and get stuck there because the mind does not want to be free from desires it, it fears if you personify the mind it it fears the uh, fe fears its um, its end its death therefore if you personify it it is like the mind objecting um, 
and if we see if we give in to their uh, objections raised by their mind it is also because our mind is not ready it is uh, not ready to accept that uh, with desires you cannot move on to moksha purushartha so what is the shruti saying etad hasma vai tat purve purve is also what bahuvachana purve vidvamsa earlier vidvamsa shruti itself says that there are people earlier who have said that who had jnana so prajam na kamayante de so na kamayante although if you look at it it is lat everything there is a vidhi real really it can be seen as a vidhi and it is quoting in the purve so earlier so ka, na kamayante sma they didn't desire and in it means that even today it is like that na kamayante they don't desire praja they give up the praja ityadina and there are many such uh, mantras like brahat तदेवं तत्वज्ञान से कर्मांगत्वा भावे तत्वविदां स्वेच्छया प्रजादि त्यागः लिंगं सूचितम् इति बोध्यम् सो दैट श्रुति बिकम्स अ लिंग फॉर व्हाट फॉर दिस प्रजादि त्याग एज गिवन इन द श्रुति बिकम्स लिंग फॉर कर्म अंगत्व अभाव दैट तत्वज्ञान तत्वज्ञान से तद एवं इन दिस मैनर दैट व्हाट हैज बीन स्टेटेड बिकम्स लिंग what is that that the shruti quoted so prajadityaga and what is it really um, saying it is saying prajatyaga should be done so that prajatyaga becomes linga for tatvajnanasya karmangatva abhave in the sense of into to establish that tatvajnana is not anga to karma and thereby tatvavidam swechhaya prajadi tyaga becomes linga establishes abhav of being anga to karma being tatvajnana not being anga to karma iti bodhyam this is what we have to understand by such shrutis and therefore also as uh, the introduction to the sutra said kincha and therefore more moreover also due to this reason there cannot be samuchaya and there definitely cannot be angaangi bhava brahma vidya is not anga to karma apicha and also further kincha apicha have similar meaning and also what upamardancha upamardancha so upamardancha samastasya avidya krutasya vidya samarthyat upamardancha all the karma has been made into churna has been completely burnt to ashes otherwise so upamarda is abhava you know it is completely reduced to ashes or it has no meaning at all it is burnt it is like a roasted seed the ajnana becomes like a roasted seed whose products are kama and karma so karma cannot be pradhana to which brahma vidya will become an anga because brahma vidya has burnt the seed to kama which is seed to which results in karma so that karma which has basis in kama which is a product of avidya that avidya itself has been powdered or burnt to ashes by brahma vidya how can that brahma vidya which burns the grandfather so to say in parampara grandfather of the karma how can it be anga to that karma itself it is illogical therefore upamardancha कर्म अनुष्ठान हेतो क्रियाकारक फल विभाग से समस्त अविद्याकृत विद्यामर्थ्यापमर्द मीनिंग वॉट अभाव आमनती सो अदर आर दो सेम ज्ञानी हू से वॉट देर इज उपमर्दन अटन मीनिंग अभाव अटेन्ड विच इज उपमर्द इज कंप्लीटली चूर्णी कृत कंप्लीटली पौडर्ड or elsewhere it is see what happens to the seed it is burnt so bhogaya uh, it is it is not to samsara vrukshaya not to ankuraya it cannot lead to ankura and samsara vruksha it cannot result in any karya but you can have bhoga that is prarabdha bhoga so the avidya which is a seed which is burnt it is like any other roasted seed edible roasted seed which we eat but you cannot use it to germinate it cannot germinate anything so it cannot give you agami karma and it cannot give you punarjanma but this vidya will burn 
avidya in such a sense that the sesha which is there it is only for bhoga meaning the prarabdha will continue that's all it can do it cannot uh, it cannot let you do karma that will bind let alone the cause of it becoming anga to that karma so karma anushthana hetu ho kasya samastasya avidya krutasya so avidya kruta is a product of avidya what is that samasta everything what is that again kriya karaka phala vibhaga so the kriya karaka phala vibhaga is kriya karaka all these and phala so kriya is the karma that one is doing vaidika karma kamya nitya naimittika bit nishiddha all that so that kriya needs karaka yajmana ityadi kartru ityadi karaka kartru karma sampradana devata to whom uh, havish is offered that havish itself is karma then uh, in the adhikarana agni where it is offered or agni kunda that becomes uh, saptami karaka adhikarana karaka and so on all of these are there patni is also karaka so the yajmana his patni dravya devata in, included in that dravya havish which is offered all these are all sorts of vyakrana karakas so that is karaka and phala adrushta phala which is generated swarga ityadi all those are what kriya karaka phala vibhaga they are all divisions and these are samasta entire all set of these divisions of kriya karaka phala they are avidya krutam they are nothing but products of avidya avidya krutasya समस्तस्य क्रियाकारक फल विभाग से विचार वॉट कर्म अनुष्ठान हेतु हेतु सो कर्म अनुष्ठान हेतु हो विद्या वॉट बिकम्स दि हेतु बिकॉज वंस यू डू दिस क्रियाकारक फल फॉलोइंग द कर्म विद्य कारक लीडिंग टू फला दैट फला विल नॉट ओनली गिव यू फला बट इट विल दिस कर्म विल हैव लेफ्ट संस्कार विच विल जनरेट वासना टू डू दि कर्म अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन वेदर इट इज वैदिक और laukika all this will be binding and it will become hetu for karma again and again karma anushthana hetu so karma anushthana hetu which is kriya karaka phala vibhaga which and not one or two samastha entirely which are all avidya kruta tasya what vidya samarthya upamardham abhava amananti upamardham amananti so you have to add upamardham is in second case read in the second case amananti they consider the destruction of the seed of the kriya karaka phala vibhaga entirely which is karma karma anushthana hetu by what pramana yatratvasya sarvam atmai va bhut tat kena kam pashyet ityadina so there are many such jnanakanda upanishad antargata mantras vakyas which say what yatra yatre yasmin uh, yasyam avasthayam in which avastha that jnana avastha turi avastha tu asya asya kasya asya jnaninah asya vidushah sarvam atma eva abhut everything becomes atma because uh, every is brahm everything is brahma karya vivarta brahma vivarta and brahma is atma tattvam asi ityadina therefore everything sarvam nasti aham eva asmi brahma eva asti so sarvam khalvidam brahma by bad samadhi karan will be understood as sarvam nasti brahma eva asti and brahma is what aham brahma asmi therefore aham eva asmi na tu matta anyat kinchid api vartate so sarvam nasti aham eva asmi brahmatmana aham varte so therefore what tat kena kam pashyet what should he see meaning karma karaka is not there this karaka bheda karta who will see what kam pashyet kena pashyet karna kena karna ena pashyet kam karma pashyet and pashyati is also kriya pashyati kriya so within kam pashyet and this upalakshana for every jnana every other vishay jnana so every interaction how will one inter- interact with what means with what karanas and what else remains there is nothing else it is only atma so there is no karana separate from atma there is no vishaya separate from atma in karma there is nothing separate from atma it is only i who am there therefore there is nothing else that can be done also because there is nothing else all that kriya karaka phala vibhaga itself is not there 
then where is the karma anushthana hetu where is the samastha avidya krutha prapancha where i can indulge any more therefore there cannot be any dependency at all because that which has destroyed all that including its seed in fact it has destroyed the seed that to a grandfather seed in the sequence of avidya kama karma so to that karma vidya which is the cause for destruction of all this samsara cannot be subsidiary तथा च ब्रह्म विद्या कर्म विरोधित्वात न कर्मांगत्यम इति भाव सो ब्रह्म विद्या दैट व्हिच अपोजिस अविद्या इट विल अपोज द अविद्या कृत काम एंड अविद्या कृत कर्म आल्सो परंपराया सो कर्म विरोधित्वात वेयर इन कर्म यू नीड क्रियाकारक फल विभाग एंड वेयर सर्वम आत्मैव भूत देयर इन दैट अवस्था यत्र There is no kriya karaka phala vibhaga left anymore. Then how can one do karma? Therefore, karma viroditva. There is karma viroda. The the Brahma vidya is karma virodini. That is the meaning karma viroditva. No karma angatu miti bhava. There is no possibility of it being karma anga to uh, sorry it, uh, being anga to karma. Brahma vidya cannot be anga to karma. Brahma vidya karma karma anangatve uh, anangatve he tuantarma ha. There is another he too that Bhagwan Sutra Kara gives to establish that Brahma Vidya is not anga to karma. Ur dhore tasu chasab dehi, ur dhore tasu chasab dehi. So ur dhore tas re tasu cha chasab dehi. It's already split. There is no padat cheda needed there. So Bhagwan Sutra Kara says ur ur dhore re ta re ta ha. Those who are ur dhore ur dhore tas is सकारांत सो ऊर्धरेत सुइस सप्तमी बहुवचन विषय सप्तमी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ऊर्धरेता ओनली एंड ऊर्धरेता इज व्हाट रेता वुड बी नपुंसकलिंग सो ऊर्ध्वम रेतो येशाम ते दोस हु हैव देयर रेता व्हिच इज गोइंग अपवर्ड्स नॉट कमिंग डाउनवर्ड्स जस्ट लाइक यू नो द ग्रेविटी वर्क्स एंड कीप्स everything moving towards itself downwards retas also moves downwards for the samsari so reta is the seed the, the physically also it means the physical seed the male seed which creates prajadi therefore that which will keep one in samsara the tendency is to be there because vasanas are like that anadi kala vasanas are to continue to have santana to live through the santana to give the santana whatever we couldn't do we want our children to do therefore that itself is binding in fact uh, elsewhere i think bhagwan ramana maharshi says uh, that uh, you know we reco- recollect many of us you know uh, he does not say this exactly in this context but in one context he has said this as to uh, if you think then childhood is it is stupid meaning children are stupid it may seem very harsh to say this but you should see it from the perspective of a sadaka from the perspective of a mumukshu so you look at it we rejoice we look at children and we see joy that is fine because we see uh, uh, innocence and that is uh, you know that the ananda is uh, there is no vishaya there which is binding meaning the children themselves Uh, are not really bound they are free because they don't have this uh, uh, vasana manifesting in such a form that the innocence is lost therefore we can see you know you know a, a very in a very small age we see uh, happy children and we become happy it is a it is a side effect of that so and we all value happiness therefore you know, look at children and be happy and then what happens is that we recollect our our own childhood and what do we think we say oh you know we had no responsibilities it was very happy time but if you look at it parents have to take care of children who do anything and everything they eat anything they they find anything they'll put in their mouth any any fill they think they'll put everything in their mouth so if you look at it it's a it's where we are completely dependent on the other to be fed even same in the old age of course but then if you look at uh, we don't look at uh, old age and rejoice we look at 
childhood and rejoice we recollect that so uh, there bhagwan ramana maharshi says that you know it should be vairagya karaka it is it unfortunately it is not for many for most of us when we look at it we recollect our childhood and we be happy so it will leave samskara to become a child again that is a side effect of that he doesn't say this but we can infer it will leave samskara if it is not vairaga karaka then it will leave samskara because we want that childhood again then we'll take another janma obviously that is what the, the uh, seed we are sowing so similarly this uh, the retas has adogati you know elsewhere in uh, scientific uh, scientific community they'll say you know the selfish gene there was a book like that somebody had recommended uh, i didn't read it but then uh, you know uh, they established that the gene wants to survive you know the, the genes want to survive and they survive through uh, that's how we do this dna analysis and all that and see who is uh, uh, who is the parent and uh, how the how are they connected in uh, you know in uh, the entire genealogy study how how they have how the species has evolved etc in that it is all useful but then you see uh, within the gene itself meaning in in the biology itself it is such that uh, we want to reproduce we want to continue living as as another into another body so we keep on this we keep this ichcha of wanting to survive forever if it is not possible in this body through santana through their santana so my name should continue my uh, gene should continue so i want to continue this is the idea there so whether you see it as uh, you know bodily as uh, uh, scientifically as a gene the, the gene wants to the self is selfish or we ourselves are selfish wanting to continue or you take it to the sadhana level and see in uh, adhyatma how you know may i become many bhusyam prajaye that kind of a thing so if you take it to that level also it is nama roopa vyakara vani that is the reason that there is anupravesha of the parabrahma and in chandogya there is a very beautiful ending to chandogya in chandogya eight chapter towards the end there are some uh, some mantras you know where you know me uh, in dahara akasha in dahara vidya the last chapter is dahara vidya so from dahara uh where this entire it is equated to brahma loka that entire brahma and brahmatva bhava that kind of a that kind of a of uh, kind of an upasana is taught there and in the end what should this upasaka do so after the hara vidya being taught there is also the brahma vidya nirguna brahma vidya given to uh, through the uh, the akhyayika of uh, chaturmukha brahma teaching virochana and indra so there is akhyayika through that there is nirguna brahma vidya in stages so uh, all that is taught but then at in closing this dahara uh, vidya kind of a an upasaka is also brought back and there are some mantra taught so japa and dhyana where one says that i have uh, there the the order is very um, you know very can be very confusing in the mantra and in the bhashya also there the uh, bhagwan tika kara as well as the bhashya the explanation goes that uh, the question raised by the puru pakshi is uh, he is praying if you look at it he is saying from this uh, brahma loka to the jiva bhava and jiva bhava to brahma loka so what is he really praying for from here he is going there and from there he is praying to come back here is that the case it it is uh, it, it does not lead to mukti so there uh, the bhashya as well as tika says that no it is saying that i from brahma bhava through anupravesha i have gone to this jiva bhava and thereby what nama rupe vyakarvani he brings back the earlier chapters also in the 6th chapter it was discussed so 6th chapter 7th chapter 8th chapter all that jnana kanda is sums together and says that i had somehow become jiva as though for the manifestation of nama roopa and now i want to go back from that and not come back here ever whether it is through krama mukti in brahma loka or brahma bhava i want to go there and not come back here at all so is he is not saying that i want to come here he is saying that i was that so he reinterprets that uh, thinganta pada to say that i had become this 
in past tense and now i want to come back as though of course it is all as though so this uh, pravrutti of nama roopa vyakarana uh, vyakarana is already there in the uh, srishti prakriya it is there within the uh, brahma bija with association with maya due to association with maya and therefore the retah moves downwards if you look at it and this becomes upwards for those who have no skalana de ki brahmachara so brahmachara is praised just before that chapter or that uh, khanda brahmacharya is praised as a sadhana and thereby uh, naishtika brahmacharya naishtika brahmacharis and sanyasis this is in the meaning of urdhva retasu with respect to them alone cha shabda hi this shabda shabde hi shabde hi what what shabda the shabda which will be uh, discussed in the shruti so we'll see that in the next part ha huh? i would like to move on to the other part and not be late so urdhva retasu cha shabde hi the Uh, in that shabda, what you see that is with respect to the urdhva reta, meaning sannyas is where for whom there is no karma. So this is in the context of Brahma Vidya being claimed as anga to karma, but Siddhanti is saying it is not possible because all these this Brahma Vidya is heard in with respect to the uh, the sannyas is meaning it is taught to sannyas is and these sannyas is have no karma. So how can Brahma Vidya which is taught to sannyas is b anga to karma which they have already given up so um shabde in the shruti shabde is in uh, shruti uh, if you take in the singular then in the shruti shrutau if you take it as uh, as a sum total then shruti shu he indeed or yasmat karana shabde shruti shu urdhure tasu brahma jnanam shruyate so it is seen only with regard to urdhvareta it is not for those who are doing karma therefore also there cannot be angangi bhava we will see the vritti in the next part ha amna yante samsidha mahadi madhyant varjita manand agna mahapurna atma jyoti rupasmahe namaste dhanyavad dhanyavad sanjit